A lot of people you are publishing in Scopus indexed journal but nowadays there are so many people they lose their money because of the fraudulent fake journals. Let me tell you what are the things you have to take care while publishing in Scopus indexed journal. First of all be clear that Scopus is not a journal. Scopus is a database. So they list a lot of journals under their uh, database those journals are called Scopus indexed journals. So when you publish in Scopus indexed journal, you can, can, you can call it that I have published in Scopus indexed journal, not a Scopus, Scopus is not a individual journal, number one. Now, how do people cheat the uh, researchers in the, term, the name of Scopus indexed journal? See, generally when a paper is published by a particular journal, a journal is meant to publish based on certain objective of the journal. Say for instance a medical journal. A medical journal is supposed to publish only medical related papers. But if it is a paid journal, what will they do? Whatever even humanities people we write, we will submit to them, they will accept and they will publish the paper. So in that way, no way the papers will be related to their objective, objectives of the journal. Still they accept the papers to publish, it is a paid journal. It is, it is not a right one to publish, number one. Number two, so after coming to uh, understand these many problems, Scopus has tightened it, its uh, what you call strategy. So they do not uh, index the paper if it is not, if it is not, if it does not belong to the particular domain. Say, yeah, there are two things are there each journal they have their individual websites as well as they have the paper what you call a kind of uh, a link in the scopus website also some good journal even when you go to the scopus database give the journal name search it then you click it it will come to the original website but fake journals they will give the original website something else and the uh, when the when you click the link it will go somewhere else so when they advertise, they advertise with the fake websites where they'll mention all these journal, other details, something will be there. But once into, if you get into the Scopus database, you don't find it. So because it's a fake journal. So what you need to do is they will cheat in two different way. One is their website will be entirely different. That's what in UGC also it is called cloned journal. Cloned journal mean the name will be the same. But the actual website will not go to the original journal, it will go to the other website. See, that's what instead of Colgate, C O L G A T E Colgate, so they'll they'll add as C O A L G A T. Everything will be same, but only in the name, probably they could have added one letter extra. So that's such kind of way they'll cheat, number one, cloned journal. But other thing nowadays, even you find in the Scopus database, they'll advertise that it is there in the Scopus. But the point is, you can publish it. It will be available in their uh, journal homepage also. But it is not valid if it is not indexed in the Scopus database. So when you go and search the paper in the Scopus database, your paper has to appear. If it doesn't appear, nobody can claim the validity of the paper because you work for an institution. So they will check only in the Scopus database, they don't check in the individual website. So a lot of agents, they make use of this particular information, they are not aware of what is Scopus, what is indexing. So they simply say that it is Scopus indexed, but the paper will be there only in, the, in their journal website, but you will not find in the Scopus database if you do not find in the Scopus database, in case you, when you go and submit PGST, you, they may not accept. When you go and claim that you have published in Scopus indexed journal, your university or your college may not accept because they will not be able to identify a paper in the Scopus database. So only when the paper is able to trace in the Scopus database, then only it is a pure original Scopus. So nowadays, Scopus is completely denying to index the papers which are not related to that particular journal objective. That's why they are using the journals are using a new strategy. They'll take as many number of papers possible. They'll get money, they'll publish in their website. But when it comes to indexing, 
they index only the papers which are highly related to their particular journal only. So, rest of the paper they do not index. But when they show you, they show that already we have indexed. For instance, they could have published 150 papers. But if you go and check in the indexing, there will be only 10 papers. Rest of the 100 and, uh, plus papers will not be indexed. So, then you will be in trouble. You could have given the money and you could have got it published, but you cannot claim, claim it. So, be very careful when you publish and make sure that whether your paper will be indexed. You check them, even if you are giving to somebody. You check them whether your paper will be indexed, then only in case if it is a paid journal, pay it, otherwise do not pay. It is never you can get the credit, it is absolutely waste of money. So, I hope this information will be useful and share it to a lot of people so that let them get and you know aware about how the they are you know losing their money without knowing that what is Scopus indexing and what is normal Scopus publication. Scopus publication means they will publish in their journal website but that may not be indexed in the Scopus. Only when it is indexed in the Scopus database, that is only a quality, pure publication. Hope it is useful. Let me get, get you in the next video. Bye-bye.